Today, we will learn how to create linear regression with two variables in our studio using the IRIS dataset. Regression is the relationship between one variable and the corresponding values of other variables. Regression is incredibly important in data analysis because it tells us more about the relationship between two or more variables, allowing us to predict future outcomes or trends, identify relationships, optimize decision-making, and evaluate performance. These uses of regression analysis is extremely important in many facets of science, such as in finance to predict the future of investments and assess risks, in medicine to optimize medical equipment and evaluate the efficacy of treatments, and in weather forecasting to predict the paths of hurricanes and danger zones of tornadoes. To create a linear regression, we need to use the function LM, which stands for Linear Regression Model, which will create a linear line of best fit. To create the linear regression, we will write regression equals, so that the regression will be a variable, then LM in parentheses sepal underscore length which will be my dependent variable, then tilde, which you can type by shift clicking the button in the top left corner of your keyboard under the escape button. The tilde signifies that the variable before it depends on the variable after it. So the dependent variable comes before the tilde and the independent variable comes after the tilde. After the tilde is the independent variable. In my case, sepal underscore width. Then close the function with the parentheses. Then in the next line, write the name of your variable. So in my case, regression. Now you can run the code. You have to run both lines of code. Once you have run both lines of code, you will see that you now have call LM in parentheses formula equals sepal underscore length tilde sepal underscore width. This line shows you an overview of your function. Then in the line beneath, there is coefficients colon in parentheses intercept. 6.5262, which tells us that the line crosses the y-axis at y equals 6.5262. And sepal underscore width negative 0 0.2234, which tells us that for every time that sepal underscore width increases by 1, sepal underscore length decreases by negative 0 0.2234. We now know how to create and understand a linear regression model. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.